incredible effort by our team, and I'm so proud of how we performed based on our effort, how hard we played. Uh, I was telling this to Q. I mean, this is the best, for me, this is the best game we played since I've been the coach at Mississippi State, uh, without question, because of how we played, how hard we played defensively, both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, we, uh, this is the best game. And uh, I hope we can build on this and the effort and, and what it took preparation-wise, but just how hard we played. The second half against Kentucky well, it was a, a phenomenal half. We talked about trying to put together two halves like that every time we step on the floor, practice or games. And we literally did that today. Played 40 minutes of really good basketball. Thought our help defense was the best it's been. Uh, you know, we, we had seven, 15 steals that led to 28 points. Uh, they shot a lot more threes uh, relative to their to overall total. La last game they shot 25% uh, of their shots, and they got 54 points in the paint. Tonight they only had 24 points in the paint, so much better job of keeping them out of lane. And, uh, and they're really good. I mean, I think Alabama is really, really good. Like, Alabama's a tournament team. They're very good. So this was a, a very important one. Any questions for Coach? Carmen's got the microphone. We'll get it to you. We'll start in the back with Steve. We'll get down to Jake. Coach in Tuscaloosa, they kind of ruled the paint. That wasn't the case tonight. What did you kind of do differently to, to change that? I thought we did a, a better job in terms of being more help conscious. Uh, that's number one. Just our help defense and flying around, uh, helping each other, spinning, showing, always sensitive to where the ball is at all times. Uh, I thought that our we were very physical. I thought we did a great job pressuring the ball, and uh, you know it all adds up to a, a really good defense performance against a very very good Alabama team. Q uh, Q passed eighteen hundred career points tonight. Was real efficient, eight of ten from the field, I think, and everything. Like, what do you think people appreciate how good of a scorer he is? You know what I mean? Just how good he's been throughout his career at scoring. You know, three pointers, driving to the basket, all those different things. Kind of what makes him so good? You know what? I mean, I, I sure hope so. I certainly do. Uh, you know, he's uh, really playing at a high level. What I like tonight, I think he had four assists in the first half. Is that correct? He had six for the game. Yeah, six assists, one turnover. I, I thought he was You're really right. good. You're right. Sharing the ball, moving the ball. Not only does he get, you know, his 20 on 10 shots, but he also, you know, had another 12 points assisted for it, which was outstanding. I thought Lamar was really good tonight. I thought Lamar's leadership out there. I thought he did some great. They were trying to double him, trying to keep it out of his hands. You know, but everybody, all eight of the guys that played, you know, right down the list here. I thought Reggie Perry was fantastic in terms of the double double. Uh, great on the glass. I mean, when they were making little runs, he was getting offensive rebounds that were huge. Uh, I thought Abdul had his best game of the year today. Uh, he was really a force out there. I was really excited about Nick, and he got in foul trouble in that first half. That's why he played eight minutes. Uh, and I talked about Lamar and Q. Robert Woodard gets nine rebounds in his minutes and a couple steals and does a lot of things that don't show up on his side. I thought Tyson and Eric both played incredibly hard defensively. So, you know, it was really, really, uh, you know, hoping, hoping that we can really build on this and understand what it took to, to play this way today. Coach, what did you see on, on film against Alabama that led to the guards getting great pen penetration in the line? Excuse me, in order to make great plays by offense. You know what? Nothing that I saw in particular. I thought our defense though created a lot of offense for us and got us into the lane a lot. I thought that uh, we got into the lane the first time we played in terms of penetrating. I thought we played off of two feet a lot better tonight. We only had 12 turnovers uh, against a very good defensive team that's really long, really big, has great size. Uh, so that was, you know, I mean, and they're, like I said, they're a very, very good team. I mean, that's a team that will be in the tournament. So that's another uh, quadrant one win for us, which is very important. You hit on it there with that dude having 10 points. How big is that for your team? And is that something you think he can build on to give you a little bit more of a scoring threat? I do. And, uh, um, you know, and our guys went to him. The guys were passing the ball. And I was surprised when I saw it after the game. He was only two for five from the foul line because he's shooting foul shots so much better. 
Um, I don't remember the, the uh, three loss uh, misses. Lamar was just in here talking about how he wanted to get that bad taste out of his mouth from the, la the two games you guys lost last week. How much did that play a factor in, in the way you guys played? Because, like you mentioned, it's been a while since you put two halves together tonight. You did that. So how much of a factor was that? And what will it take for you guys to come out on Saturday after a win and play the same way? Yeah, practicing the way we play, which we did uh, on uh, Monday, yesterday. We practiced exactly how we played today. And that's what you do. And uh, we make practice much shorter. And we just go that hard every time we're playing defense. And, yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're good. When we play like we play, like I said, to me, for me, this was the best game since I've been here as the coach at Mississippi State. And obviously it was important coming off two grueling, tough losses and games we had a chance for both to win. Uh, and, yeah, of course, that you know, you want to get that taste out of your mouth in terms of, you know, getting a W as opposed to, you know, the latter. Go ahead and get it to Joel, the coach's left. You had mentioned on Saturday that, uh, I don't know if must win was your exact quote, but basically this was a game you guys had to have tonight. Um, how much did you, I guess, preach that in practice over, over the course of this week? And was the effort that we saw tonight, was can you attribute that a little bit to a, a sense of desperation, I guess? A, a sense of urgency and understanding of where we are. Yeah, um, you know, we, we talked about where we are and what, what we need to do moving forward, you know, one game at a time. Any other questions for Coach before we get him out here? Let's go to this gentleman over here to the side. Just quickly, uh, was there anything uh, you saw as far as uh, Alabama that you knew you could take advantage of, of some issues on ball handling, the aggressiveness? No, you know, you know what I, I think happened, though? I mean, we played so much harder defensively than in Tuscaloosa. It was like, you know, two different teams. Uh, and, you know, I, that, that's, you know, the main thing. It wasn't anything having to do with them. It had to do with us. You know, that, that was the, why I'm so excited about what we did today. You know, I mean, I watched their games, you know, their, their last two games, you know, with a great win at Vanderbilt, where they were 1-13 in their last 14 or something like that. Went on the road in a very difficult place. We've also had major issues winning up there. You know, they handled Georgia and really played well against the, you know, Georgia uh, as well. I mean, you know, they're very good. I mean, this is a really good, tough, well-coached, uh, hard team to match up with team. So that, that's one of the reasons that I'm so happy about it too. Is that I I, I understand how good they are. All right. Thank you guys. We'll see you Friday. We'll see you Friday.